Okay, Vega fans, I am back. And because I am a madman, I decided to see if I could get my card up to 1700 on air. And in this endeavor, I learned two key things. First, Sapphire has put together one hell of a card. The VRM is solid, and the cooler is equally as impressive. The second thing that I learned when trying to get Vega to go to its limits, it is clear that heat is the enemy. Uh, what I did to successfully achieve the 1700 plus megahertz on air overclock is I had to lower the temperature targets in order for the fans to ramp up more quickly. This allowed the air cooler to do its job very well and keep heat under check because both the hotspot and HBM do not like heat. Uh, the second thing is you'll notice uh, HBM is at 1050, as with my original 1650 overclock on air. I have been able to get this card stable at 1100 HBM at 1650 to 1675. However, I had to free up some thermal headroom and some wattage headroom in order for the 1700 to stay stable without having to flash the BIOS to get higher voltages. And I really did not want to flash the BIOS. So, I sacrificed just a hair on the HBM. It was stable at 1075, but I went to 1050 for long-term stability. And you can see even under full load with 8x MSAA to keep it at 99% as much as possible, it's bouncing between 1699 to 1710 at around the 310 watt power usage mark. So uh, not the most efficient, but definitely nice to see that the Sapphire card can hit 1700 on air. And you'll notice uh, with uh, the side case open and my ambient temperature during testing at uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, the fans are only averaging out. They're leveling off around 22, 2300 RPM. I gave it way more headroom, but this is where it settled after three runs of Valley. What you're seeing in this, vi in this video is my fourth Unigen Valley run. So yeah, stable for four passes. Thermals are under control. Wattage is under control. HBM is still high performance. So yeah, it's doable. Uh, I was impressed with Sapphire before. Now I am just flat out amazed. The only thing I can think of to make this card better is water. The only challenge to that is there's really only one manufacturer that makes a full cover block for the Nitro Plus card. So I personally am going to be perfectly happy with this air cooler because it's awesome. I'm going to end this video here, and I'm going to say once again, good job, Sapphire.